Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia. Today's trivia category was a request from the Plant Nerd, LLC. I think we mentioned them during the Christmas trivia quiz. They asked if we could do a country music trivia quiz. We couldn't do it, obviously, during the Christmas quizzes, but now that the first of the year and we're doing new trivia, we're getting after this one. This is country music from the 1960s and 70s. Good luck. Question 1. The most successful song of her career, and one of the most recognized songs in country music, what 1968 number one hit made Tammy Wynette a superstar? The answer is Stand By Your Man. Question 2. Inspired while driving in Maryland, the songwriter of what John Denver hit originally considered using the state of Massachusetts in the lyrics, but ended up using which state in the final version of the 1971 song? The answer is West Virginia. Question 3. The first single from the album of the same name, Hello Darling, was the fourth number one hit for what popular country music artist? The answer is Conway Twitty. Question 4. Known as the Rhinestone Cowboy and popular for a 1975 song of the same title, what American country singer also released the song Wichita Lineman in 1968? The answer is Glenn Campbell. Question 5. I'm crazy for trying and crazy for crying and I'm crazy for loving you were lyrics from what influential vocalist of the 20th century in her 1961 song, Crazy? The answer is Patsy Cline. Question 6. Often associated with the late Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You was originally written, recorded, and taken to number one on the billboard by which country music star? The answer is Dolly Parton. Question 7. In the 1968 song, Mama Tried, what country legend sings about the pain and suffering he caused his own mother by being incarcerated in 1957 in San Quentin? The answer is Merle Haggard. Question 8. What country music singer and songwriter released the single Every Which Way But Loose from the 1978 film with the same name? The answer is Eddie Rabbit. Question 9. 
In Bobby Gentry's 1967 hit, Ode to Billy Joe, what is the name of the bridge that Billy Joe McAllister jumps off of? The answer is the Tallahatchie Bridge. Question 10. Harper Valley PTA, written by Tom T. Hall, was a massive hit in 1968 for what country music and gospel singer born in Stamford, Texas in 1945? The answer is Jeannie C. Riley. Question 11. Tommy beats up the Gatlin brothers after they assault his woman Becky in which 1979 Kenny Rogers hit song? The answer is Coward of the County. Question 12. Popular in her own right, what five-time Grammy Award-winning singer and songwriter was the second wife of country star Johnny Cash? The answer is June Carter Cash. Question 13. Released in 1975 and 1978, Redheaded Stranger and Stardust were two studio albums that solidified what country music star's place in the industry. The answer is Willie Nelson. Question 14. Which country music singer-songwriter had multiple gold albums in a career spanning almost 60 years that included hits like One's on the Way, Fist City, and Coal Miner's Daughter? The answer is Loretta Lynn. Question 15. Whiskey Bent and Hell Bound is the 30th studio album by what country music artist that comes from an impressive country music family spanning decades? The answer is Hank Williams Jr. Question 16. Daddy Sang Bass, written by Carl Perkins, was a huge hit for what famous singer in 1968 on his Folsom Prison Blues album? The answer is Johnny Cash. Question 17. One of the few child performers to mature into adulthood without losing her audience, what country music artist had her first hit, Delta Dawn, in 1972 at the age of 13? The answer is Tanya Tucker. Question 18. 
the country supergroup of Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, and Chris Christopherson got their group name from what 1977 song by Jimmy Webb? The answer is The Highwayman. Question 19. The best-selling performer for RCA Records since Elvis Presley, what country music star released hits like Kiss an Angel Good Morning and Is Anybody Gone to San Antonio? The answer is Charlie Pride. Question 20. Best known as one of the founding pioneers of the outlaw movement, what country legend had hits in the 70s like I'm a Ramblin' Man and Are You Sure Hank Done It This Way and Bob Wills Is Still the King? The answer is Waylon Jennings. All right. That is it for today's trivia quiz. Uh, like I said, I got the request from the guys at The Plant Nerd. They messaged me around Christmas time, let me know that they watch and listen to this channel while they're working, which I think is awesome. They requested country music trivia. Um, I didn't get too far into it. Not sure, once I started looking up some questions, I realized there is a lot of trivia questions for country music. So I divided it up. Today we're doing 1960s and 70s country music. Um, at another time we'll do 80s and 90s, and then we'll do everything after the year 2000. So. I thought 1960s and 70s was some good classic country music that had a lot of the big names. That's one of my favorite eras of that type of music, so that's what we did today. If you have a request, you can send us an email at roadtripia at gmail.com or you can leave us a message on any of our videos. Uh, we have several requests that we are now working on, some of them from TV shows that I've never seen or heard of, so I'm going to have to watch some episodes of those shows, and then I will write the movies. We also got some great suggestions for some real fun trivia, which I never thought about. So if you have any other suggestions, leave us a message, send us an email. Thank you for watching. Check back tomorrow for episode 374. See you then.